All right, this time I'm going to show you how to remove something from, a, from an image using Photopea. So again, I'm just going to use Google to search for Photo P. There it is, first one on there. I'll click on it. It'll bring me to the very first page. And I'm going to open something from, a, from my computer. If you have a new project you want to start or something, go ahead and do that. But I'm just getting an image from my computer, from my desktop. So on my desktop, I have this image. Just double click to load it up in there. And I'm gonna try to remove the ladybug from this image. You may have something else you want to remove. It could be a power line or something you don't want in the image. I grabbed my zoom tool and I'm gonna zoom in on this. Just hitting that. There's also keyboard shortcuts of Control plus will zoom you in. Control minus would zoom you out. And the tool that I'm going to use for this one is I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. And I guess it's just called the clone in this, in this program. So I'm going to click on clone tool. And you'll see my, my cursor is kind of small there, so I'm going to change the size of it. I'm going to go up to here. And I'm going to increase the size of it. And that might work to start. Next, I'm going to lower the hardness level. We looked at the hardness level in the color splash video. But that just feathers the edges, makes the transition a little less harsh between them. So to use the clone tool, I need to hold down Alt. And it'll create this little plus sign. I'll click once. Now my that sets my target. And then when I move it somewhere else, it's going to take from the target I set and draw on the other area where I moved my cursor to. So I'm going to undo that step, edit, step backwards. We'll undo that last step I did. So you could use this also to, to remove something. So again, I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going to hold down Alt, makes the plus sign, click once, and that's my target. That's where it's going to take it from in the image, and it's going to put it over the top over here. And I can click again and start to draw. And when you're doing this process, it is I find it really helpful to to continually reestablish that target. So I'm going to do Alt again, click, and get that target again. Maybe I would want to get a smaller brush to spend a little bit more time getting into some of these areas. I could set my target over here to kind of match that part of the image. So holding down Alt, click, there's my target move it over what I want to cover up and start to go over the top of it. You can see I don't do really big strokes with it and it just it doesn't tend to work if you try to go too crazy and get too much at one time because it'll end up repeating itself. So alt click take from here put it over here hold down alt up here click Try to blend that into there. Maybe I'll get some down here. There's my target. Move my cursor up. Again, establish my target again. And if you go back and forth like that, you're going to have a lot better results than if you just try to do it all at once. A couple more, and I almost got it. So then I could zoom out and remove the ladybug from the image. And that was all just using that clone tool. So if you want to give that a try, go ahead. And that's all.